In this video, we'll talk about how to put the monotub into fruiting conditions. First, when I start to see bumps or pins forming on the surface of the bulk substrate, that's when I decide to put it into fruiting conditions. All you'll really need for this step is your water and a spray bottle along with the fully colonized monotub. So once I've seen the bumps or pins growing, the first thing I like to do is to just simply open the lid and let some fresh air in. I then like to fan just to help the fresh air circulate inside. Lastly, I'll leave the top open, just cracked to one side. If I feel like the tub needs more air, I'll start to peel away some of the micropore tape in the hopes of getting more fresh air into the tub. In addition to fresh air, I try to keep the humidity up by spraying the sides of the monotub with some water. Now I do this about three times a day and after I've sprayed the sides with water, I like to give it some fresh air through fanning. After some time, the pins start to fruit. In this case, I'm experimenting with growing reishi mushrooms, but this can really be used to grow other types of mushrooms, such as oyster and other varieties. That's the end of this video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a like or hitting that subscribe button. I'm Ryzen. I'll see you later.